Hey guys, welcome to my video. This video I'll be teaching you how to emulate arcade machine games. It's really easy to do. Um, you'll need a couple of things to get started. The first uh, thing you'll need is to download the emulator itself. It's called MAME. M -A -M -E. There's different versions of it. Uh, for this video, we'll be using MAME UI. There's a link at the bottom of the video uh, to find it. So if you click the link, download MAME UI 64, which is what I'm using now, and get that installed. The next thing you need to do is download the, the ROMs, the games itself. And where you get them from where, where, sorry, where you get them from is up to you. I recommend um, torrenting them. Um, you can usually torrent a whole um, arcade library in one download. Um, it's usually about 20 gigs in size, so make sure you've got enough space. So, when you've downloaded your ROMs and you've got your MAME installed, the next thing you need to do is designate a folder to put your ROMs in. So, I recommend um, putting your ROM folder in the actual MAME UI directory. There's usually a ROM folder in there already. So, if you open that up, and um, if it's not there, create one, or if there is, double click, drop all your ROMs in that folder. And um, you'll find the ROMs are in a zip format. Don't unzip them, you don't need to. MAME will read zipped files. So once that's done, you set. So if you run MAME UI, little frog icon here. Okay, loaded. And you'll get this screen. This is your main window. So your main um, emulator window. Uh, it might look a bit different when you first started because mine's already set up. But generally, if it um, isn't displaying the ROMs, you go on to Options, Directories, and then the Show Directories for, click ROMs, and then click Browse and point it towards where you've, where you've um, dumped all the ROMs, which folder, which was the ROM folder in the UI in the uh, main UI directory itself. So once that done, that that's done, um, MAME should automatically read all the files and they should display in this window here. If you look on the left side, um, there's different filters here. We want all games and it'll show every single game in that ROM directory in the middle. Now, if you did do a big download uh, of every single ROM, MAME, um, ROM MAME can run. Uh, generally, there's a lot of rubbish in there and stuff you don't want to play. Um, unfortunately, unless you know exactly which game you want to play, um, you might have to go. It's a general case of going through every single one and choosing the ones you want to keep. Um, what I do is I go through the list, and there's loads, loads of games here. Um, find the one I want. Right click the game, so if I want to keep this game, I add to custom folder and there should be a favourites folder and to put it in there and that filters filters the games into the favourites. That's, that makes it so much easier to find the games you like, like them. See the ones I've done before. Also, they shouldn't notice a little coloured box next to each ROM. This represents how stable they are. So green means they work, red means they don't work. Um, the uh, I think the light green means not 100%. But generally, you'll find different versions of the same game because, like Japanese version or US version or European version of the same game. But generally, you want to play the green one. Um, the other thing I think I can think of, if you go file and properties, you can change um, different parameters such as display. Um, like if I want to run into a window, I click display, click run in a window, which I want to do now. There's a few other options, but to be honest, I'd leave them because generally they'll just play and you don't have to fiddle around to get them work. So let's get one loaded up now. So just pick a random game. I also recommend getting a controller if you're going to play um, 
arcade machine games so much easier. Keys aren't very good, to be honest. So let's pick one. I don't know what we're going to play. We'll play this one, Dungeons and Dragons. So just double click the ROM. It should work. Sometimes you have to type OK in the keyboard to get it work. Pass that screen and then it should just load. There we go. And we're done. Um, when you load up, a, load up an arcade machine ROM, usually you have to put money in. Like um, pretend you put money in to get it work. And that's usually key five. You press five, it'll add credits, like a proper arcade machine. And then press one or two for how many players. So press one for one player. And the game should just start. And there we go. As easy as that. As you see, I didn't have to do anything at all to escape work. Simple case of installing. Clean your ROMs in the right folder and click the ROM in the in the actual emulator. Thanks for watching and I'll be doing a lot more emulator videos teaching you how to get them run. Goodbye!